Now, let's have a quick overview of what this dashboard is about. Now, if you don't see this dashboard, you can go to analytics.google.com and then once you're there, click on the admin tab. Once you're there, you will see different accounts. Right now, I have two accounts, but you may only have one. The reason why I have two accounts is because I showed you one for a website and one for an app. So you can have multiple accounts. And within an account, so right now I'm, I'm choosing the Captain Rocket 2 demo app, you have multiple properties. Now, as you can see, I only have one property and you can add as many properties as you'd wish to. Now, each property gives you a tracking uh, ID. And why would you want to have uh, different tracking IDs? Because sometimes you want to um, split your data for, um, let's say, one for your website, one for your mobile app. Even though it may be the same website and the same mobile app, let's say um, it's uh, Uber. You may have uh, the website for Uber and you may have the app for Uber, uh, the iPhone app. So you create two different properties, one for the uh, website and one for the mobile apps. Now you can go and drill down as creating also a property for um, the iOS version, the iPad version, the uh, Android tablet version, and so on. However, you don't really need to because all of this information about which device the user is working on, you can get all this within the view data. So again, so now what is the view data? The view data is all the information that you can get from your app, such as um, the uh, users, uh, you can manage different users that are on it. What is the goal? And you can uh, add e-commerce settings so that you can uh, track e-commerce. So all of this can be uh, set within this view. Now, if you create a new property, you will have a different view. So make sure that you have at least one account, one property and one view. That's, that's what's important. You need to have these three, okay? All right.